Okay, we're entering the Dafu Mansion, built in the Qing Dynasty 170 years ago. The man who owned this was a senior officer in the dynasty, famous for its large brick gate, three golden stairs or straights. Can't read. Okay, this building is being restored. I'm going to pan around it just once generally to get the feel for it, starting with the upper floors. Whether that's a balcony or whether that's the room, I don't know. Now we'll slip down into the lower room. These panels may well be totally new in design, as well as in construction. Here we see that classic design we've seen before, with what look like two access areas on either side. Central area presumably used for uh, dining and that sort of thing. Now let's look at the detail more. The most surprising is this um, scroll-like support, which there are two, one on either side. That's one piece of wood. It's a masterful piece of carving, it looks like. And here are the beautiful carving in the center of the main beam. Look at how huge that beam is, spanning ac almost across the width of the home. And undefaced by the uh, Cultural Revolution. I'm shooting this side because both sides are the same, but this one has a restored piece of carving there, suggesting that the skills still exist. It may be that those beams have simply been restored, whereas some pieces, I think, are new. Okay, you'll notice here that there's a, a trough, if you will, and that trough would have kept, captured the rain that comes down and then it would have run along there and then now in this device here which i've seen a lot of before um, this one has holes in it so the water could obviously drain out and this is in the form of a coin because the symbolism is that you should be very careful that you may get lots of rain being given to you in the form or money given to you like rain comes into this building but you may also lose it quickly if you are not careful. Here we can see newly restored panels. Um, and there are two panels right here, of course, that could have opened up to this back room and presumably the standard courtyard. Notice here's a round fixture, presumably of metal, for holding a lantern, while on this beam, which has some carved elements that are applied to the beam, I believe, are, uh, is a square or oblong fitting. Here's a beam support that we can get a closer look at because it's been restored and maybe see some of the detail. Here again we see the motif with the uh, holes knocked out, or at least the opening there, so it can serve as a drain. It could be that these were actually part of an, a, a drainage system somewhere or here this may be underneath this a drainage system and this was just a way uh, a, a traditional way of providing drains and and having a symbolism for that very little seems to be done in china and southeastern asia that doesn't have a symbolism to it and we're working on the big melon thing so the first thing you do is shave off all the hard crust to it.
Here a pretty little garden. Yikes. Uh, surrounded by these old buildings. How cool. I think these may be the, may be the flowers of garden peas. Here we're inside another old home. You can see that rain idea there. There's the drain um, right underneath there. This man apparently is a seller of antiques, including these beautiful dragon pieces for your front door. Not to mention this uh, dragon sculpture. And there, an interesting and probably not ancient, but probably fairly old um, decorative backdrop, probably for just what it appears to be, um, that little set of shelves. And however, that would be used in a home, maybe even this one. Here, an old entrance, not abandoned, but uh, not appreciated, and partially blocked by a wall. I was gone so long, my driver got somebody to come with him and search for me to see if I was still here. And I reassured him that I am and that I will be coming probably within an hour back to the car. <laughs> here, just an area in between these buildings. It used to be a Either another building stood on this platform or it was a garden or whatever, but now it's just turned. Here looks like an old grinding stone. See that at one time there was a building here. An old area. Look at those old water barrel type things. It's interesting, in this house, there is a decorative tile treatment that I haven't noticed before. This was all restored, but restored using the original roofing material, it looks like, from here anyway. In this building, we get to look at the structure of the architecture with the posts without anything in between them. So it's like looking at the skeleton of the building. A difficult scene to paint because of the perspective and the converging, diverging lines. Okay, it had to happen. Here is the tourist system. There's Okay, it had to happen. Here is the tourist area. I mean, the shops and all that sort of thing alongside this little river that we came up when we entered. I managed to stay all the way away from it until just a moment ago. But the old folks come sit on the bridge and watch the happenings around them. Here, melons laid out to dry, I guess, or to be bought and eaten, I don't know. The beauty of artistry is that you can paint this scene without the things you don't want and add a few you do. I don't have that luxury. Here we get an idea of how those upper balcony rooms are used. There are several versions of what you will see in a moment. Same style at least Simon's used on my western paintings, ink filled in with a watercolor. And I believe the acrylic. Very nice painting. This, I believe, may be the teacher.
What's interesting is that grinding stones have been used to cap the top of this dam. And this is an interesting affectation unless it reflects the temple rather than the living quarters. I wonder what the purpose of these holes was. It looks like that wood was put on with nails, so this may be a modern change. Again, from these tenyon slots, I think we can call them, um, it indi may indicate that the rooms uh, were divided on the right of us, and on the left there were wall panels of wood between these uh, supporting posts.